So let's look at just one example of this, and kind of in that light. So this says, a charge of positive 50 millicoulombs is placed at the origin. What is the magnitude and direction of the electric field at y equals one meter? And then if a positive two millicoulomb, I guess I should put charge. Eh, maybe I could spell charge is placed at y equals one meters, what force will it experience? So it's a two part problem. The first part just is figuring out okay, what is the electric field for that 15 millicoulomb charge at y equals one meter. So our equation just for an electric field of a charge is kq1 over r squared. So this is gonna be k is nine times 10 to the nine. My charge, it's, a, it's the electric field of my 15 millicoulomb, so 15 times 10 to the negative three divided by, uh, my distance is one meter, so divided by one squared. So I'll give you a minute to calculate that out. And it's a really big number. Um, you should get 1.35 times 10 to the eight newtons per coulomb. So it's a really large electric field. Um, and, and that's kind of what we're gonna get. We're gonna get electric field values that are pretty big. So that's the electric field at that point. And so the second part of the problem says, okay, if here is my positive charge, right here, here's my positive charge, right here at y equals one meter, the electric field due to that charge is 1.35 times 10 to the 8 newtons per coulomb. And then it says, okay, what if I put a 2 millicoulomb charge here? So what if right here at this point, I put this 2 millicoulomb charge right there? What's going to happen to it? What's the force going to be on it? So if I already know the electrostatic or the electric field, the equation then would be, okay, I already know my electric field due to this charge. And now I'm putting a charge there. So the electrostatic force is just going to be the field that I calculated, 1.35 times 10 to the 8 newtons per coulomb. I don't need to put the unit there. Times the charge I put there. And the charge I put there is 2 millicoulombs. So 2 times 10 to the negative 3. And so let's go ahead and calculate out what that force is. It's going to be a pretty big force. It's going to be a uh, pretty big interaction there. And the force you get should be 270,000 newtons. Okay. So this, this is gonna feel a force of 270,000 newtons. So it's going to be um, a positive and positive, so it's gonna be repelled from it, okay? Okay, so this video is meant to go through an example of electrostatic force with you. Um, so let's just read through it. It says a force of 4,400 newtons exists between a positive charge of 800 microcoulombs and a charge of 300 microcoulombs. What distance separates these charges? So let's just start off by identifying quantities. So this right here is an electrostatic force. Um, 800, a charge of 800 microcoulombs and a charge of 300 microcoulombs. These are the charge values. So this must be Q1 and Q2. And then what distance separates them. I'm looking for a distance. So if I could quantify this and look this at things that I know, um, I know that my electrostatic force is 4,400 newtons. I know that my Q1 is 800 microcoulombs. So 800 micro, that's times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And then Q2 is 300 microcoulombs, so 300 times 10 to the negative 6. And what distance separates these charges? That's what I'm trying to find. So I'm trying to find the R value. Now, I know Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law says that K, Q1, Q2 over R squared, and I know that K is always 9 times 10 to the 9 newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. So I can just go ahead and plug in my quantities, and I have 4,400 equal K, so 9 times 10 to the 9, 
times q1 800 times 10 to the negative 6 and then 300 times 10 to the negative 6 and that's all going to be over r squared now in terms of how to solve from here you can kind of think of this as being like over 1 and then you could cross multiply like bring that over so you'd have something like 4400 r squared is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 800 times 10 to the negative 6 and then 300 times 10 to the 6 and then your next step would be divide both sides by 4400 now when you go to plug this into your calculator remember you've got these handy dandy calculators so you can do this all in one step you could say r squared is equal to 9e9 times 800 e negative 6 times 300 e negative 6 divide by 4400 now remember that's what r squared is equal to so um, once you get a value you're going to divide it not divide it you're going to square root it so i would suggest that you pause the video you actually get out your calculator you practice doing these numbers um, and just get familiar with using the calculator with these numbers but i'm not there so I can only tell you to do the right thing, but hopefully you're going to pause the video and calculate this out, and you should get an R value of 0.7 meters. Okay, so that's just a quick example of using electrostatic force.